Yeah, they're there. Right, let's move, let's move. Uh, Sarah, can you do the slate, please? Uh, great work, guys! Seth. Oh, man. Uh, Feet off. Why does he always take forever? I load him with every fibre of my being. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Thomas, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. What's the big joke? Thomas, all this, this messing about, you've been doing this ain't about, whatever you want to call it, it's all very, you know, funny, but we are professionals and we are on a tight schedule. I think everyone would agree with that, and you, my friend, are wasting all of our time with your whipper cushion antics and your pretending to fart and all that kind of stuff, it's really not, you know, helpful to the atmosphere. So, shall we get going, everyone? Camera? Speeding. Sound? Speeding. Wait, no, I'm not ready. Sight? Scene two, shot one, take one. Mark it. Hold on, Hattie. Holding on, Hattie. Yeah. Oh, troll babies. Okay, I'm ready. Wait. And action. I. I. Ulysses. Sorry, you know, like when you're about to say something. And then there's just nothing in your damn brain. Well, there's nothing in his damn brain to start with. Uh, I remember. Okay, so I've been thinking about your old predicament with, you know, the chili fever, and I was wondering, so you knew the recipe at one point, correct? Oh, for sure. I knew it at the back of my hand, but for some reason we just forgot. We never wrote it down either to make sure no one could steal it. I mean, kind of implausible, but I'll excuse it for plot convenience. We appreciate that. So the important thing is you remember it at one point, correct? Absolutely. So, why not go back and get it? You mean... time travel? Impossible! Trampoline time machine! Good God! This sort of feels like fan service to me. I mean, we go back in time and revisit our old selves. Aha! Uh -huh. Now how can you fan service if you don't have any fans? Very true. So, do you remember the last time you mentioned the chili tea recipe, right? Yeah! 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 No. No. I'm kind of drawing a blank, to be honest. I mean, hey, that's fine. Don't sweat it. You can just enter in a date, and off you go. Okay, so, this button here freezes time and lets you move undetected. And what do these two do? Don't touch them. They don't do anything, just don't touch them, okay? But why is it there if we can't touch them? Just go get the recipe, okay? This is brilliant, John. Think of all the possibilities. We could... We, we could go back in time and give you a bath before you gave me a ringworm. I could go and change the ending to Bawdy Builders to make it less... less... Racist? Yeah, that's the word. Or we could... I'm not sure this is all such a good idea, Grubby. I mean, 
What if it's like a house of cards, you know, you can't A about too much or else everything will fall down. Ugh, I never saw it. Well, I'm just saying we don't want to ruin our lives. <laughs> ruin? I'm just talking about a little adjustment here and there. A little improvement, eh? Hang on, why do you get the watch? Because you've got brittle wrists. It's so heavy it'll snap your hand off. I've been owned with facts and logic. Where are we going? Not where are we going, John, but when. Okay, when are we going? Right now. <laughs> when are we? <coughs> oh my god, that's, that's Pew. Wait, John, we can save him. What? This is when he ran into a tree, got hit by a two-pronged stick and died. But we can stop him. I'm not sure that's a good idea. Wait here. <laughs> Grubby? What? You're welcome, Bozo. Oh my god, John! Bud! Oh my god, John! John? Grubby? What the bloody hell? My sentiments exactly. Why are there two of you? Where's John? John? Grubby, John died three years ago. John's dead, and your pew, pew came back with me. Yeah, of course I did, you damn dirty ape. We had to get you, you chilly tea. I'm so bloody confused. Oh God, I'm raised John. I, I swear it, we've been having some pretty good times. I'm, I'm so, so sorry. For what? Can you find me a two-pronged stick? Oh, here. Thank you. Oops. Wait, wait, wait. Grubs? Sorry, sunshine. Ah! Oh. Carry on! What just happened? Uh, I... Did you erase me? Let's just get out of here, shall we? You erased me! You're being dramatic. You wiped me out of the fabric of time and space! I... Well, yeah, I did, but it's all good now. You're unbelievable. Give me the watch. You've proven yourself unfit to leave. No, keep your filthy dog hands off my shiny watch. But I want to shut up. Let's not forget why we're here. Where is here? I... I, I don't know. Where's the old us? There. Maybe they're talking about the recipe. Speak up, no one can bloody hear you. I don't think they're talking about the recipe. I think it's something to do with a big stone man. Give me the watch, you suck at time travel. No way, Rosé. Now! Uh-uh. I'm gonna count to ten. Well, I'm gonna count to five. Well, I'm gonna count twice as fast as you. One, five, two, four, three, four, three, three seven, two, two, one, two. Oh! Give me the watch! Bloody Francis? Hetty? That's, That's you! Thomas, what have you done? You pressed that button, didn't you? The one we weren't supposed to press. I didn't do anything! We need to get out of here. I do not like this one bit. Put in our home tape, quick. What year was it? Oh, you idiot! I can't remember, okay? Just tell me! I can't remember either! Oh no. Just guess! Those people, what were they doing? They look like us, Johnny. They had our faces. Maybe we're in a, a computer simulation or a video game. But, but why were they filming us? What did they want from us? Sickening, <sighs> sickening. Oh. <laughs> okay, guys, let's get ready. Your cue is on Mimsy. Okay, that is your cue for the tube. Oh, god, it's him. <laughs> <laughs> Or a dog. And action! Done. You need to know that Mimsy. <laughs> Be quiet, lemon boy. They killed the dog grubs, they killed the little puppy. These people are evil. Alright, good guys, let's see how that looked. That felt really good. How was that? Really Excellent tube work, Sarah. Yeah, it was really good. <laughs> what? I did the tube. <laughs> tube work that good from you. Highly doubt yeah, it. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one, my lad. Not, no, no. Ooh, oh, that oh, is really oh, good. Oh, oh. <laughs>
And that boy, isn't that Bard or East Eagle? No, no, that's Ulysses. And those two? Uh, that's us again, Grubs. You don't think? What? You don't think we're some kind of film? Some kind of motion picture, do you? What? Are you bananas? The chili fever's got you. No, no, no. We've just shown up at the wrong date somewhere with all these people who look exactly like us who are following us with cameras. We need to get back to the future and make up a game plan. What date are you going to put in? The first one. What? Year zero. And then one, and then two. It's trial and error. We'll get there eventually. Suppose we will, Grubs. Suppose we will. How was it? Bloody awful. We can't remember where the recipe was for the life of us. And the strangest bloody thing happened. We... Uh, yeah, we couldn't find it. But, uh, never mind, eh? I'm going to bed. What? But, uh, but... Me too. Uh, bedtime? Wait, but that's not in the script. The what? Cut! Thomas, what the bloody hell was that? They were off script. They were ad living, right, Hetty? Hetty? Uh, yes, we were crab nibbling. Hetoid and myself were crab nibbling. See, Thomas, you should have just gone with it. It could have been comedy gold. I can see the three of you now with your little Scrooge hats on in the bed. What? This is stupid. I mean, how did they just forget the recipe and then carry on? I mean, like, okay, even if they did forget the recipe, it was literally in a musical number in Grobby Unhinged. How dare you, you insolent teen. Francis, Hetty, take a break. Sarah and I are going to hurl insults at the boy until he cries. No, that's enough. Okay, I'm, I'm fed up. You need to stop picking on me, all of you. Thomas? No, you guys are so cruel to me. You blame me for everything. I can't take it anymore. I wish you never made those bloody grubby films. Um, I fancy a rocky road. I will be going to the kitchen. Come, Francine. Good scene, good shot. Uh, that's a wrap, folks. Grubby! John! You were bloody right! I was bloody right! We're in a movie! A film! A picture! A curse this evil one! Confound Ulysses, how could you do this to us? Oh god! Grimes on a bike! Oh, oh god! Grubby. If, oh, I can't read this, it must be some kind of alien language. Grubby, every bloody part. It says grubby, every bloody part! Oh, oh my god! What does that mean? It's our lives. But films. This is the whole scurvy affair. How could this happen? It's all your bloody fault. If you haven't pressed that button, none of this would have happened. No, no we, we don't know that. Grubby, no! Oh, oh, oh my god, what's happening? Grubby, no! Oh, what so I press the down arrow? And then we go into the movie. Well, press the up button and get me out of here. I'm bloody dying. No, no, did you say I'm right? Well, well, well. The dynamic duo. Not so dynamic with a bullet in your gullet now, are you? Grubs, Grubs, I can't feel my feet. You know what to do then? You know, I don't usually, I don't usually like guns for knives. They allow a level of proximity. You watch the light to leave their eyes, just like I did with Deborah. Grubs, please, please! Wait, you killed Deborah? Like, surprised? Oh, I was wondering where she got to. What's all this about, you, Mrs? Don't engage! Don't engage! It all started when. Oh my god, he's gonna do the villain speech, Grubs! Ah! If he does the villain speech, I'll be dead by the time he's done! He's you done. can leave any time you want. Fine, you were right! Sorry, I, I didn't catch that there. You were right! I want you to say, well, well done which von McFunkthon, you were correct, and I, John Horatio Lemon, was wrong. That's not even my middle name! You can say or you can't, Johnny boy, it's your choice. Come on, Mitch, von McFunkthon, you were right, and I, John Her ah! Horatio. Horatio Lemon, was wrong. Can we please go now? No, I want to see how this all plays out. Oh, Christ Jesus, help me! Uh, fine, drama queen. Oh, oh, oh. Does this mean Deborah's dead? Does this mean I'm dead? I, uh... <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me, um, hairball. Oh, no, the chili chase! <coughs> oh, God. <coughs> Six. 
<laughs> we need to get you some bloody tea. Where is it? When is it? Hang on. What? That boy from Seps, the one who looked like Ulysses or Bard or whatever, he said the recipe was... here. You can read? No. It's the only film without any numbers in the title. No. Excellent critical thinking, though. It says here the film was made in 2015. So if we go to 2015, enter the movie, and bon voyage. Bon appétit. Bon jovi. Bon maman. Bon hiver. Your brain is in fantastic condition. Let's go. 2015, here we come. Ooh. What's the big rush? I know y'all out there, boy. Hell. I trained you, God damn it! Come on out! Oh, it's all coming you back to me now. Dancing. What do we do? We wait. For what? We wait for us to start singing. Can you teach me how to make your tea? Get your notepad out. Chili tea? Oh, yes please. Why, sure. French. It's not bloody French, it's bloody English. What does it mean? It means we're in big bloody trouble. Come on, let's get back to the future. What the bloody... Has he? Francis, how do you guys get in here? Why are you still in costume? Costume? Don't you dare! What are you guys doing? I can't keep lying, Grubs. I don't know who Hetoid or Francid are. Our names are John and Grubby and we're in a terrible fix. Not another word, Hetty. You're Hetty, I'm Francis. I'm Hetty. You're Grubby. Please, Sir Thomas, we need your help. We need to find the chili tea recipe for Grubs or else she'll explode. Right. Good one, guys. Another excellent prank. We're not pranking, I promise. Oh, yeah? We can prove it. Johnny. Come on, Grubs, we can do the time warp thing. No, no way, Croquet. But he could be our only hope. You guys are really overdoing this. Fine. Bloody fine. <coughs> That's the cow waffle scene. The cow waffles are part of this too? Not even my favourite snacks are real. Where are you, my boy? Huh? You're not there. Where are you? Oh. What? There. Yeah. What are you doing on the bloody stairs, boy? Yeah, stop messing about. Go and help the others. They tied me up. Good God. These people are monsters. They must be stopped. What else can you do with that thing, by the way? You know, this and that. The usual. <laughs> do you believe us now? Where's the bloody recipe, boy? Uh, uh Drop you unhinged? We went there, it didn't work! If you don't start talking, Blondie, we're gonna have to go back in time and kill you before you were born. I wish you would. Knock it off. Just because you get tied to the stairs and endlessly ridiculed, that's no reason to throw a pity party. Yeah, you gotta channel that angst. Or ridicule them back. Tie them down to the stairs. Oh, we likes that one, Johnny. If you help us get the recipe, we can help you out. You get the recipe, we'll get the rope. <sighs> I'll help you, but it's not going to be easy. The only other mention of the chili tea recipe is in Robin Waffle 7. That doesn't sound too hard. Grubbs, key in the time code for Robin Waffle 7. Let's rumble. There never was a Robin Waffle 7. But you just said... Uh, there was a script, but it never got made. Oh, pull up the script. Let's take a peek. Can't. It's on George's old laptop and nobody knows the password to it. Well, so. why don't you bring it up if we can't get to it? Oh, there's a way. But it's going to be complicated. We need to go back to 2012 and stop Hattie from creating Grubby. I don't follow. If Hattie never creates Grubby, we would make Robin Waffle 7 in 2013 instead of a load of waffle. These names mean nothing to me, but I, I think I get it. We have to stop this Hetty character in 2012, and then enter the filmverse 
of Robin Waffle 7, where the recipe will be? Correct. Also, you guys have to go alone on this one because if people see me, things will get way too complicated. Hmm. Nothing suspicious about that. Thank you, my lad. Right, we'll see you when we get back, my boy. Oh, yes. Yes, you will. 2012, here we come. <laughs> Goodbye, Grumwald. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Thomas, <laughs> shut up! Everybody, hurry up! We need to shoot this thing! What was that? Huh? I need to eat my lunch. What? Why haven't you eaten it already? I was getting in costume. What costume? You're not in this scene. You'll see. What are you wearing? Well, I've got this great new character idea. That's me. Patty, eat your lunch now! What do we do? Poison her. What do we use as poison, huh? Poison? We don't have any poison. Oh, well, oh, I'll just spit on it. Hetty, what are you doing? Get upstairs. I was just... Uh, she needs uh, snacks. Yeah, I was just getting some snacks. I'll get the snacks. You get upstairs. Get out of that ridiculous costume. Hetty? But... Oh, no. But you were just outside. Move! So you can see Enough! Look, let's just shoot this bloody thing, okay? Good one, guys. No need to get any other angles without that. I think perfect. I got it. I, uh, how do you? Francis, how, you've got I to can't beep figure it. out how to use You've got to go there. It's it's not that hard. I just did it. You don't need to do any more. Okay. For goodness sake, Francis. Right, everyone. Come on, we need to show I think we did it. Really I think they've erased me. Nice. I'm so excited to see the new Ron Waffle movie. What? Oh, um, I mean, it's more of a morbid excitement. Ah, oh, that makes more sense. How do you like that, huh? Not much. Not much. You want some more? No, thank you. Leave the boy, Lennon. Ah, oh, Mr. Waffle. I thought I killed you. Die! Ah! No. You shot me. And then I fell off a cliff. And then I washed up in Japan. And then I was trained by a ninja master. And now I'm here to kill you. Ah, Master Teriyaki, I presume. Well, I'm afraid you're too late. I've already killed your wife. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. My God. My life. No. Stop smiling! You will pay! 
pay for this. Perhaps it is you who will pay. Tell me, did Master Teriyaki ever teach you to shoot bullets from your hands? <laughs> This film is bloody awesome. I still don't understand how the chili tea recipe fits into all of this. Jacob! <laughs> Stay with me. Stay with me, son. You're a good father, Robin. And a great man. Shh, don't talk. Quick. Have some of this. Wow, Dad, I feel amazing. Wh what was that? It's a healing elixir I invented. You get a mug, fill it with hot water. When the drink's reached 100 degrees, start brewing. Add a lot of chilies, then add a lot of cumin. Is that it? What? We did all that for add a lot of chili, add a lot of cumin. Sounds pretty complicated to me. Come on, let's go home. I think we reached the limit of this time travel idea anyway. What the? Ulysses? Ulysses? I don't think he's here, John. It says Robin's Waffles! <gasps> what is this place? It's the fried and battered. Jacob Waffle, we've had an incident in the old waffle shop. Jacob? Shut up, Bob. Oh. Go to the big oh. house. Jacob, it's me, your friend, John Lemon. I know that, you oaf. This was all part of my plan. Uh oh, speech time. Please do the speech, Mr. Waffle. I'm very confused. I'm not Jacob, you dolt. I'm Thomas. Thomas? Well, let's go. We said we'd help you. We're so good at tying people to stairs. You guys aren't going anywhere. It's my world now. I'm the hero. Wait. How did you even get here? Isn't this movie world? Look at the aspect ratio. That it is. Got this from Ulysses' costume. You know, it's so much more fun here. No one to tell you off or blame you for everything. I mean, then again, that doesn't happen much in the real world anymore either. Good God! What does it say, Grubby? What does it say? You nincompoops played right into my hands. How would you never consider the consequences of erasing yourself? I would never write characters half as stupid as either of you. This is Jacob's world now. Grubby never existed. Please let us go. We don't care about being in movies. We just want to hang out and drink chilly drinks. Afraid I can't be taking that chance. I wouldn't have had to buy 
by the weasels? Millennium ship! Who makes all the meals? Who spends all day at the salt mines making ends meet? Who washes the horse? Who pays for the water to wash the horse? Who washes the man that pays for the water to wash the horse? You! You! If we ever get out of here, I never want to see your face again. I wish I'd left you a raise. I wish... I wish we'd never come back for another sequel. Do you think we were happy after part four? Why couldn't they just have left us in peace to rest? Now look at us, back at each other's throats. I just want to go home. I don't care about being a hero or whatever. I just want to sit by the pool and drink chilla tea. This whole thing's been a disaster. Totally. Why, why would we erase you without even thinking? It's like everything's gone down the tube now. Exactly. <laughs> Just to be clear, I'm not accepting responsibility. Oh, me neither. If I just had the watch this whole time, none of this would have happened. I've told you once and I'll tell you again. He can't be in charge of the watch because if it... John. Yes, Grubs? I'm gonna suggest something rather painful and I don't want you to freak out. <laughs> I'm really not sure about this. You're not sure about getting extra pocket money in time on your iPod? Well, I thought you'd really be on board with that. No, no, I'm not sure about this, the whole situation. Well, you can't have one without the other, my boy. Now break it. Cops, please. Snap it like a Kit Kat. It'll hurt. Barely, barely. Just snap the bloody thing. You've got to stop me. We've got to stop me before I erase me. What if you stop you before you can stop you from erasing you? <laughs> I'd like to see me try. Well, I... <laughs> Get ready. This is it. Go on, Grubs. Do your worst. <laughs> oh, no, you don't, sunshine. Don't you touch our lunch, Sunny Jim. What foul sorcery is this? Listen to me. You've got to trust me. This whole thing is a setup. That treacherous boy is manipulating you. Don't listen to him, Jimbo. And let me ask you something, so-called grubby. How do you know you're not just Hetty, sent to stop that boy from getting his rightful revenge? Yeah, and you, John, if that really is your name, which I highly doubt it, how do we know that you're not just Francis, huh? Good God, we're smart. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a lunch to spit on. <laughs> Grubs! <laughs> she needs her tea, you rascals! Oh no, you don't! <laughs> Oh my god, sweet. Ah! 
we were kind of in the middle of something. Right. Oh, oh God! <laughs> Hurry up! I can't bloody read! Oh. What does it say, Grumps? What does it say? Oh. 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 <laughs> I'll do it myself! <laughs> What is this? More of your evil sorcery? Now everybody, let's just calm down. <laughs> <laughs> bunch for that by the way. I froze time. I don't follow. That's because I haven't finished yet. Remember what I said about you and shutting the bloody hell up? Mm, that does ring a bell, yeah. I'm currently frozen in the millisecond before I was erased. I forgot you couldn't bloody read. And you better be paying attention because I'm about to save all four of our lives. Yes sir, paying attention sir. You need to take the watch off my dead body, travel five minutes into the past, and then warn us that we can't stop us from erasing me. Right, I think I get it, but Grubbs, we can't just erase you! I'd rather live in that boy's world with you than risk any more of this! It's all too... fragile. You, me, the shop. We can't keep going back in time and tinkering and fiddling with things just in the hope that it might make something a little better we should have left well alone we should have been more grateful for how how perfect everything was to begin with 
Oh, and by the way, that was not me accepting responsibility, so don't you even try and blame it on me. <laughs> Wouldn't dream of it, Grubs. And you're caught on a star, and I'm burning through you. Oh, thanks for the highlight. Baby, you surprised. Pass the test, and yes, now I'm here with Lady you. Lady Slammer. Grubs! You know that I just died to make you proud The taste, the touch, the way we love It all comes down to make the sound of our love song What's the big idea? We've got to stop us. We've got to stop us before we erase us. What? Listen carefully, you two. I've got a message from future Grubby. Do not, under any circumstances, stop yourself from erasing yourself. Now, hang on. How do we know that you're not just Francis trying to play some devious scheme with us, eh? Ooh, someone's got their brain in gear. Well, how about this one, Sunshine? If you go out there, past and future Grubby will die, and past you will end up in a dystopian wasteland. Put that in your A and smoke it. She's coming! Was being erased really that bad? Like, really? What are you bloody talking about? No frolicking in the Italian countryside? No rest. But if there's a chance, if there's a chance that it'll kill you, I'd rather stay in Thomas's hell world. Lame. Don't you make fun of him. You said the same thing to me about five minutes ago, or rather, ten minutes from now. Okay. Hell world it is then. Thank you. <laughs> Go. Excellent work. Strange bloody day. The strangest. Really wish we hadn't erased you. Not ideal. It's alright for you. You get to stay in the bloody mythos. Oh, hi, Hathi. Uh, hi, my boy. How's the film going? I mean, okay, I guess, but the not really listening to any of my ideas. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? You betcha. We've got an idea they might take seriously. Her name's Grubby. She's Robin's maid. She's got all these grey overalls. She's super annoying. I don't know if that's strictly fair. Are you writing this down, boy? Because this is comedy gold. She makes cheesy drinks. She has this Oh, thank God. Back to normal. God bless that boy for inventing me. Right, I want you to take this and throw it straight in the bloody bin. I don't want us messing anything else up. I'll get started on cheap brew. Right you are, Grubs. <sighs> One more won't hurt.
and welcome to the premiere of Robbie Five Scuba Dive. What are you bloody doing in my bloody house? Oh, oh cripes! cripes. 